first off, what is insulin? Insulin is a protein made by the body that regulates the levels of glucose in our bloodstream. It does so by increasing the usage of glucose by tissues such as skeletal muscle and fat cells. Glucose is produced in the beta cells of the pancreas, and a rise in glucose, which often follows a large meal, is also detected by these cells. These cells are clumped together in the pancreas to form islets of Langerhans which are named for the German medical student who first described them. Now we're going to take a look at what exactly goes on in these beta cells to produce insulin. A rise in glucose is detected by the pancreatic beta cell, which in turn triggers the synthesis and release of insulin. The synthesis of insulin begins within the nucleus by the transcription of the insulin gene. DNA polymerase makes a copy of the insulin gene as mRNA, and after splicing, the mRNA is ready to be translated. The mRNA leaves the nucleus and attaches to a ribosome. The ribosome translates the mRNA into a protein 110 amino acids in length. This protein is called pre-proinsulin. It contains a signal peptide 24 amino acids in length, which is required for the protein to cross the cell membrane. This primary translation product is far off from becoming the 51 amino acid protein of insulin. The pre-proinsulin makes its way to the rough endoplasmic reticulum for further processing. Once the pre-proinsulin reaches the ER, a protease cleaves off the signal peptide and folds the remaining chain to create proinsulin. Proinsulin contains three parts an amino terminal B chain, a carboxyl terminal A chain, and a connecting peptide in the middle known as a C peptide. Also within the ER, the C peptide is then removed from proinsulin by various peptidases, and this results in the creation of insulin and free C peptide. These two molecules then go into the Golgi apparatus where they are combined and packaged into secretory granules. Secretory granules are essentially little vessels containing insulin and C-peptide that are accumulated in the cytoplasm and leave the beta cells through exocytosis when glucose levels are high outside of the cell. Finally, exocytosis of the granules is triggered by the entry of glucose into the beta cell. The secretion of insulin has a broad impact on metabolism.